Hello and welcome to Dr. Donovan Medicine Made Easy YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be covering three key topics. First of all, what are acetylcholine receptor antibodies? Secondly, why is the blood test used? And thirdly, how do you interpret the blood test? So first of all, what are acetylcholine receptor antibodies, also known as ACHR antibodies? These are autoantibodies produced by the body's own immune system. They mistakenly target proteins called acetylcholine receptors, which are found on skeletal muscle fibers. This blood test detects and measures the presence and level of these acetylcholine receptor antibodies in the blood. Now, for brief background purposes, acetylcholine receptors function as docking stations for a chemical substance known as acetylcholine. Acetylcholine helps to transmit signals between muscle cells. It binds to receptors and helps to initiate muscle contraction. Antibodies impede the communication between nerves and skeletal muscles, thereby inhibiting the muscle contraction and causing rapid muscle fatigue. And they do this in three major ways. Firstly, when they bind to receptors, the antibodies can cause an inflammatory reaction that destroys them. Secondly, the antibodies may block the receptors. And thirdly, the antibodies may cross-link the receptors, causing them to be taken up into the muscle cell and removed from the neuromuscular junction. The end result of this interference is the development of a condition called myasthenia gravis. So why is the test used? Well, it's used to try and determine whether someone has myasthenia gravis and to distinguish it from other conditions which might cause muscle weakness or fatigue. Symptoms of myasthenia gravis include things such as drooping of the eyelids, double vision, weak muscles, difficulty breathing, difficulty swallowing, and muscle weakness that gets worse with sustained effort but improves with rest. It's usually one of the first blood tests that will be requested, and depending on the result, more specific blood tests can be ordered. If the blood test is taken early on in the diagnosis of myasthenia gravis, it could then be used over time to monitor response to treatment. Well, ACHR antibodies are not normally found in the blood, so if a person has raised levels and clinical features of myasthenia gravis, then it's likely the person has this condition. However, there are some important points to note. A negative test doesn't necessarily rule out myasthenia gravis. For example, up to half of people with this, which just affects the eye muscles, won't have raised levels of autoantibodies. And even in those patients with generalized myasthenia gravis, 10 to 15% will be negative for these antibodies. Acetylcholine receptor autoantibodies can be raised in people with other conditions like small cell lung cancers and a condition called Lambert-Eaton syndrome, which is another autoimmune condition where there's interference with the release of acetylcholine from the nerve endings. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please hit the like button and remember to subscribe to the channel for more similar videos. If you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments box below and I'll get back to you. And until next time, bye.